Okay, so I love getting text messages and Facebook messages and YouTube comments on the videos that I shoot. And one person reached out to me the other day and it's a question I have never been asked over the past seven years of focusing on new construction in St. Johns County. And they said, Josh, St. Johns County sounds too good to be true. Like, is everyone drinking the Kool-Aid? What's up? And they asked, they said, what is one thing you hate about living in St. Johns County? And that caught me off guard because I'm very a very positive person. And so I had to take a step back and I said, you know what? There are things that I dislike. Hate is a polarizing word and I get it, but I'm gonna roll with it, okay? So if you force me to say, what are the things I hate about living in St. Johns County? I had to think about it and the first answer that came to mind was the mosquitoes. Those are definitely something that I hate. And it's interesting because I've spoken to some friends when I've been out and about and ask them what they hate about the area. And one person said the traffic, and which is interesting, interesting perspective, because for me, in relation to other places, I don't think the traffic here is bad at all. And, and I'm not really in it, so I don't experience that. But again, back to the mosquitoes, I live on preserve. Behind those windows, that's woods, okay? And also it's a little low lying, so that means that sometimes water collects. And in the summer months, it rains every day, and so it's like a mosquito breeding ground. And even though the city will have their scheduled maintenance, the mosquitoes here just, they wear us out. So much so that my wife and my kids do not go in our backyard during the summer months. So that is one thing that I hate. Another one of my friends said that the heat is something that just gets to them over time. Now, what is interesting, there are a lot of places along the East Coast and the Northeast that gets just as hot as we do here. It's just that here in St. Johns County, Northeast Florida, those that heat lasts a little bit longer than other places. So yes, be prepared, get ready, because July, August, September, that's going to be just a hot, sweaty, messy swamp full of humidity so when you walk out of your front door to get into your car in the morning and the afternoon and for lunch you're going to be breaking a sweat now i've grown used to it a lot of people acclimate over time they say your blood thins i don't know how scientific that is so if if you are a medical professional let me know if the whole blood thinning and acclimating process is legit or not for me i take the good with the bad the bad is the hot, humid, sweaty, swampy summer months. The good is come January and February, it's beautiful here. So, I mean, we will have weather in the 60s and the 70s in January and February. People go out to the beach, like it's just lovely. So I would put up with some really hot summer months to offset really bitter cold winter months. Two other things come to mind whenever we're talking about what I hate in St. Johns County, and it's hate not having. So I hate not having a little bit more elevation to our landscape and countryside. So it is just flat as all flat can be. We love going up to the Blue Ridge Appalachian Mountains area because wow, for us, that is just majestic and beautiful. So I hate not having more elevation gain and change. And then the last thing that if I were to really stretch and say something that I hate, I would say, you know, as I'm thinking through and, and having this discussion with you, with you, I was gonna jump to the fact that I hate that we don't have seasons, but now that I'm thinking about it, that's not necessarily true for me. Now, people from out of state say that they love the seasons and they miss the seasons, but as a native Floridian, I believe we do have seasons. They just may not be as, as wonderful as the Northeast area or other parts of the country. But our seasons, without a doubt, would be sort of that March, April, May area where the, the uh, grass and the trees and the flowers, everything is blooming and very fragrant. It's coming to life and there's some really moderate temperatures through there that's really enjoyable. And then in the fall area, I wanna say that we have fall colors because it does change pr pretty quickly. That's why we just go up to Blue Ridge uh, for a week in October. But for us, the fall will set in right at the end of October through November, some really nice, uh, relaxing, long sleeve type of weather. 
So I know I still spun this whole thing to be positive about St. John's County and living here. And the fact is we have so many benefits. I forgot to add the proximity of our overall location is relatively convenient because we're just about two hours to Orlando. We are about six hours to Atlanta and then also about two and a half hours to Savannah. So generally speaking, if you want to go down to Miami, about five hours. So generally speaking, you can really hop around pretty conveniently and it's not completely out of the way like something in the, the Northwest would be. If you live here in Northeast Florida, let me know something that you hate about living here. And if you are at a state and you're excited about moving to the area, I'd be curious, what are you most looking forward to? Continue those comments, send me questions so I can shoot more videos like this and answer your questions. I look forward to connecting with you. If you need any help, reach out to us. We're real people. We love what we do and we can make your life a lot easier. So just send us a text. The information is in the description. I'll see you in the next video.